Well, hello. Welcome uh, to this time in God's Word, uh, praying our way through the Psalms, using the Psalms as the basis for uh, daily prayer. And so uh, today it's Psalm 6. Uh, maybe you want to get your Bible, follow along as I read it and look for prayer thoughts, and then we will pray together. Psalm 6. O oh Lord, do not rebuke me in your anger or discipline me in your wrath. Be merciful to me, Lord, for I am faint. O oh Lord, heal me, for my bones are in agony. My soul is in anguish. How long, O oh Lord? How long? Turn, O oh Lord, and deliver me. Save me because of your unfailing love. No one remembers you when he is dead. Who praises you from the grave? I am worn out from groaning. All night long I flood my dead with wet bed with weeping and drench my couch with tears. My eyes grow weak with sorrow. They fail because of all my foes. Away from me, all you who do evil, for the Lord has heard my weeping. The Lord has heard my cry for mercy. The Lord accepts my prayer. All my enemies will be ashamed and dismayed. They will turn back in sudden disgrace. A couple of thoughts uh, strike me as I read that psalm. So often in life, don't we find ourselves in low places, places where we are just feeling without hope and absolutely crushed, and, and certainly... The words of the psalm uh, bring those kinds of uh, moments to mind. Verse 6, I'm worn out from groaning all night long. I flood my bed with weeping and, and drench my couch with tears. Makes me think of Jesus' words and invitation to come unto me, all you who are weary and heavy laden, and I will give you rest. Then two, uh, these enemies that the psalm writer is talking about, um, you know, there's uh, different kinds of enemies. And uh, as I read these kinds of psalms and these kinds of verses, uh, verse 10, like it says, all my enemies will be ashamed and, and dismayed. They will turn back in sudden disgrace. I, I think of the personal temptations that I, I face every day. And those are my enemies. They're an enemy to my soul. They're an enemy to my heart. Uh, they're an enemy to the blessings that God has given me. And I, I bring those enemies, my sinful nature, to the Lord in prayer and ask and, and thankful for uh, his victory over these enemies, over temptations uh, through what Jesus has done for me. And then the power of the word to be the weapon that I use to fight those, those enemies. And then finally, just the, the confidence we can have that God will turn to us and because his love is unfailing, just to thank him for who he is. Uh, verse 4, thank him for his unfailing love. Let's, let's pray. Lord, we're, we're going to start this, this prayer today with words of thanks for who you are, for your unfailing love, especially as you have given it to Jesus, our Savior. Lord, we praise you. For the greatness of your love, the extent of your love, the vastness of your love, Lord, we, we struggle to find the words to describe it. We just simply kneel before you in, in awe and wonder of your great love for us. We, we thank you for your unfailing love. And from that unfailing love, Lord, help us this day as we face our enemies, those temptations which want to lead us away from you, which want to take from us the, the many blessings you've given to us. And and which threaten even our, our soul and the core of our faith. Lord, deliver us uh, from evil. And then, Lord, if this day brings me to a, a low moment, a low point in, in the midst of my groaning, in the midst of my weeping and my tears, in the midst of sleepless nights, Lord, remind us and bring us to mind and heart and bring us to you through your gracious invitation. Come unto me, all you who labor and are heavy laden, and I will give you rest. Give us that rest, Father, in Jesus' name and for Jesus' sake. Amen. Thanks for joining me. Uh, God bless your day.